I'm here in front of the world famous Cotton Club in Harlem, New York City, which since the 1920s has been a major center for African American culture, art, and business. We're gonna check out some places that played key roles during the Civil Rights Movement and the Harlem Renaissance. This is a part of celebrating Black History Month at Taft College. In the 1910s, blacks began to migrate in mass from the south to the north, seeking better opportunities, and Harlem would soon become the largest black community in America. During the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s and 1930s, Harlem flourished with cultural and artistic expression, with figures like Langston Hughes and Aaron Douglas. During the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s, Leaders like Martin Luther King made speeches and organized marches in the neighborhood. Another very important civil rights activist was Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Powell cemented his influence in Harlem when he succeeded his father as pastor of the beautiful Abstinian Baptist Church, substantially growing its congregation. In 1945, he would become the first black congressman from New York State. In 1961, he became the first black chairman of the Labor and Education Committee, going on to pass dozens of social measures, including providing college student loans and public school lunches. The world-famous Apollo Theater was constructed on 125th Street in 1914. In the 1930s, it became the single most important theater in the capital of black America. This theater has helped many famous black performers start their careers. At the age of 17, Ella Fitzgerald made her singing debut at the Apollo. Other artists who have began their careers at the Apollo include Luther Vandross, Marvin Gaye, and Neo. Many of these artists are featured in the Apollo's Walk of Fame. While not quite as impressive as the Abyssinian Baptist Church, the Canaan Baptist Church of Christ has its place in Harlem's history. During the Civil Rights Movement, Dr. King held press conferences in this church. The man on the left of this photo is Wyatt T. Walker, Dr. King's main strategist. Walker was the senior pastor at Canaan Baptist Church for 37 years. It seems as if every block in Harlem is filled with history. Perhaps one of the best ways to experience and learn about the contributions of African Americans in our society is to cross 110th Street yourself and see Harlem. This is Joshua Vasquez, the Taft College ASO president, hoping that our entire student body takes some time this February to reflect on black history. <laughs>